हॅलो स्टुडंट्स हाव आर यू ऑल फायनान्शियल लिवरेज ट्रेडिंग ऑन इक्विटी वॉट इज फायनान्शियल लिवरेज वॉट इज ट्रेडिंग ऑन इक्विटी वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चॅनल गुरु ऑफ अकाउंटन्सी टुडे वी विल लर्न फायनान्शियल लिवरेज फायनान्शियल लिवरेज और ट्रेडिंग ऑन इक्विटी रिफर्स टू प्रपोर्शन ऑफ डेप्ट इन द ओव्हरऑल कॅपिटल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द कंपनी that means proportion of debt in the total capital of the company is known as financial leverage financial leverage is also known as trading on equity and financial leverage is used to measure financial risk of a business now what is financial risk financial risk means risk of the firm about not being able to cover or pay its fixed financial cost like interest on debenture interest on bank loan so when the firm is not able to pay its fixed cost it is financial risk financial leverage is the ratio of debt upon equity or it is the ratio of debt upon debt plus equity so financial leverage means debt upon equity financial leverage is also known as trading on equity this is important concept of financial leverage trading on equity helps to increase earning per share in a company by using more amount of borrowed fund like debenture and long term loan along with equity as a source of finance so trading on equity helps to earn earning per share to increase earning per share trading on equity is used by company when rate of return on investment is higher then the rate of interest on debt capital because when roi is greater than interest it will increase earning per share of a company financial leverage can also be calculated by ebit upon ebt earning before interest and tax upon earning before tax let us see the exercise three cases are given equity capital 70 lakh 50 lakh and 40 lakh debt is given first case nil second case 20 lakh and then 30 lakhs so total capital is 70 lakh in all the three cases tax rate is 30 percentage interest rate is 10 percentage per annum and earning before interest and tax is given 12 lakh now let us see the solution of this exercise here you can see in first case there is no debt in second and third case debt is given solution so first we will take earning before interest and tax that is 12 lakh in each case from that we will minus interest of debenture that is debt in first case nil then 2 lakh and 3 lakh 10 percentage of 20 lakh and 10 percentage of 30 lakh so you will get ebit 12 lakh 10 lakh and 9 lakh from that 30 percentage tax if you minus then you get earning after tax and this earning after tax if divided by shareholders number so 7 lakh 5 lakh and 4 lakh are the number of shareholder you get earning per share 1.20 1.40 and 1.58 so here you can see with the increase in debt from case 1 to case 3 earning per share is also increasing so meaning to say debt fund is used to increase earning per share and that is known as trading on equity when debt fund is increasing earning per share is also increasing along with the total capital so this exercise shows that earning per share increases with increase in debt along with equity capital but for that roi should be higher than rate of interest increase in earning per share is possible when roi is greater than rate of interest